Yeah, Michelle, deputies say that after doing a forensic audit of that kayaker's laptop, they found that he had inquired about moving money to foreign banks, that he had been talking to a woman in Uzbekistan, and that he had purchased airline gift cards, causing them to suspend the search for the kayaker here in Green Lake County and begin an international search for his whereabouts. Now, Ryan Borgwart went missing on August 12th while kayaking on Green Lake. Authorities say they found his car, capsized kayak, his fishing rod, tackle box, and his license, but not him. Multiple organizations used sophisticated technology to search the lake for weeks but could not find him. Authorities eventually found out that Ryan's name had been checked in Canada the day after he went missing. They did a digital forensic analysis of Borkwart's laptop and found that he had made inquiries into moving money to foreign banks, been talking with a woman from Eastern Europe, and had bought airline gift cards. Deputies say they believe he's alive and likely in Eastern Europe. Keith Cormican is the owner of Bruce's Legacy and helped with the search. He's been part of dozens of missions to find bodies of drowning victims and said this case began to feel strange to him. After, you know, after probably 10 days of being, you know, searching the area, I was definitely probably figuring something was up by then um, because we had covered it so well. And after 20 days, you know, it was just, I was just in awe. I, I just kept telling them, I, I don't like, I just can't believe anybody could swim this far away from our last ping. And Keith said, Keith said, despite how everything turned out, the Green Lake Sheriff's Department has been wonderful to work with and also that he feels incredibly bad for the family of Ryan and the situation that he's left them in after the decisions that he made. Live from Green Lake County, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.